In this brief tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can create a new document in Corel Draw. There are a couple of ways to do this. The first, and probably the most obvious, would be from the File menu and select New. Alternatively, we can do a Control N. Yet a third way to create a new document is to click on this icon in the Getting Started tab of the Welcome screen. This will open up the Create New dialog box. In the Create New Document dialog box, I have the ability to give my file a name. This name will appear on my title bar at the top once my file is saved. I'm going to call this one Brochure. And then next we have some preset destinations. You'll notice that we have CorelDRAW default, and this is an MRU or most recently used list, so this list here will vary as you move forward in the application. Next, we have default RGB, web, default CMYK, and a CorelDRAW default here. Now, this CorelDRAW default is the default settings that have been created under Tools, Options, Document, and any settings that you make there will be reflected in this one. And then the final is Custom. Below that, we have Size. There's quite a number of sizes available within Quill Draw. Standard letter size, tabloid, government legal, and the list goes on. Business card, broad street, various envelopes. Next, we have width and height. So I can specify the width and height if I want. I can also change the orientation from portrait to landscape. I can dictate how many numbers of pages this particular document has, as well as a primary color mode. The rendering resolution is the resolution that certain effects have when they're created, such as drop shadows, lenses, and bevels. The preview mode is the view mode that I'm using when I'm looking at my document. And then, of course, color settings gives me the ability of changing my RGB, CMYK, and grayscale profiles. For this particular file, I'm going to set it to letter, landscape, and I'm going to change my primary color mode to RGB. Simply clicking OK. Now, if there's any of the settings that you wish to change after we've done that, you can certainly do so on the interactive property bar at the top. Here we have the ability of changing page sizes, so I might want to select tabloid if I'm going to do a half-fold brochure. You'll notice it's 11 by 17. I just changed my orientation back to landscape. This icon will dictate that all new pages that I add to this current document will be the same size and orientation. If I select this icon, then I can mix and match page sizes. So adding a page, page number two could be letter, it could be business card, it could be portrait or landscape. It really doesn't matter. So long as this is selected, it will allow me to do that. That brings us to the end of this short little tutorial on creating a new document in CorelDRAW.